Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, um, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much for it, those of you who have subscribed. I got to my 200 and I'm very excited. And there is a giveaway going, still going on until um, Monday the 6th of July um, on my sub to subscribe my giveaway video, which um, was released on Monday. It was my plan with me. Um, so yeah, go check that video out and you can find out how you can win this beautiful kit from Harry Wright Designs. It's a little mini kit and all the information is in that video. I will link it below, um, in, under the giveaway and, um, yeah, please go check it out and, uh, see, um, yeah, from a bit, of, a bit of a thank you to everyone who's supporting me in my YouTube journey as it were. So this week then we're memory planning for the week of June 8th to the 14th. This was what the I thought was the week of Father's Day, but it turned out not to be so. Um, I just assumed it was in the teens in June, but anyway. Uh, but I uh, so instead it was just a kind of non-week, and I bought in this kit from Sticker Bloom, which just has June kind of vibe for me. Um, so it's called Tea Party, and it's a four-page kit and uh, comes with a few extras. So these are the four boxes. Uh, we've got um, some half boxes, quarter boxes, labels, some bilgies and things. And we've got some more boxes, some uh, checklists, some really pretty scallops and flags and scripts and things. Super cute. Then we have the bottom washi, which is this beautiful in silver foil. Um, and the date covers, again, in silver foil. So this is a silver foil spread for summer. And um, yeah, let's just go... Um, straight into it. I did bring these rolls of washi to use as well. Uh, this, these two are from Simply Gilded. This is like a periwinkle um, heart and vine, and then the inverted silver bows. And then I also brought in this one from the Pink Room Co., which says "Sweet Dreams" and it in this kind of pink. I thought those would go quite nicely. So let's get to it. So we'll start with the bottom washi. This periwinkle. I don't think we'll need. Any extra things going on there? But there's, there is. It, it looks like it's extended, but actually these are chunks of washi along with these. So there's patterned chunks and then um, solid chunks. So I'll get this down. It's beautiful colours in this. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> beautiful colours in this kit. I really, really do like them. And I've put this down one key and I can't fix it. Okay, let's get you back up. Come on. Oh man. Okay, what's out there? Okay, there we go. Beautiful. And then we do have the date covers already, but I think they're gonna be a little too short. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is put the I don't want the purple to kind of match the top to go over the date date names, the day names. And then I can put the date covers on top. So the five millimeter washi. If there any of you have bought recollections planners in light of the planner situation, I've always planned in here. So um, if you need any top tips, let me know. So I use five millimeter washi to cover the date covers, the day, the days of the week. That's what I'm saying. And then I add my date covers. Let's try and line this up so I don't waste any washi. I think this, I can't remember what kit this periwinkle blue came in. It came in a kit. Oh no, it didn't. It was a standalone. It came in, like, I think it was called like, kind of, it was a name that reminded me of Cinderella. So, yes. There we go. So, there we have that, and then I did bring in some date dots from Harry uh, from Morello Papery, sorry. So from Morello Papery, and I'm gonna pop these on the date covers. So, yeah, that five mil looks really pretty there. All right, let's see if I can get these off. Again, I love Morello Papery's um, foiled paper, the paper she foils on, because it's like a matte clear, so as you put it on, there is no glare. There is just foil goodness, and I love it. She does have daintier, uh, smaller date dots than this, but I've only got them in gold. I can't find them in my silver. So, yes, so I'm using the slightly bigger ones today. 
but yeah, I love the paper. Diamond Print Designs also uses this sort of paper too, and I love those. There we go, 10th for Wednesday. So like I said, I um, I really thought it was Father's Day this weekend. So um, me and my husband, we have our birthdays and our respective parent days in the same month. So I'm March baby and Mother's Day in the UK is in March. And his birthday is in June and Father's Day is in June. So we kind of don't make a huge massive fuss on the parent days. We get a beautiful card. We get the kids to handwrite their uh, message in there and we kind of um you know that's it that's about it really we kind of make um dinner for each other and that's about it when in birthdays there's a bit few more like presents and things like that that go along um some years we've kind of merged the two and just been like okay these are presents for both father's day and your birthday or whatever but the majority of the time we just focus on the birthday really when it comes to gifts um but essentially Mark's month is June and mine is is in March. And sometimes I think my birthday has actually been on Mother's Day once, but I I think it was it was when I was a not a mother when I was a, a young a young girl. And uh, we went. I remember going to the tea rooms in I want to say Lyme Regis, but it could be Bognor Regis, somewhere along the Dorset coast, and. Uh, just walking into a tea shop without my family actually saying that that's where we were going to go. And then we did end up going back there. So I remember sharing a pot of tea for two with my nana. But that was Mother's Day. Sorry. This is not even Father's Day week. So let's get back on track, shall we? Okay. So there we have this. Now this green kind of doesn't go. So I do need to cover that up. And then use a script. And I'm going to... <laughs> I don't know what to do. I do have some half boxes that I will have left over. It's only one purple one though. That's what I wanted to use. I might use the polka dots. And use a script from Diamond Print Designs to mark the day, the month of the year. So again, it's this kind of clear, transparent paper. There we go. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of washi underneath there to kind of match the top, and then put a full box. None the wiser. Okay. Put that one side. So now I'm going to go and do the headers and the full boxes. And did I scatter? I did scatter last week, didn't I? This is a kit by Station Stickers, who unfortunately is shut now. And then, when was the last? Did I have I recently done it? That was scattered too. That was. Oh, Biden Designs. And the station stickers at the top. And at the top there as well. Okay. I'm going to do scattered. <laughs> but I am going to use all of the colours of the headers. I had thought about colour blocking since the date dots are colour blocked. Um, I, nah, you know I love a good colour blocking. I think I'm going to stick with that. Um, Yeah. I'm going to colour block. So keep all the same colour in each column. I believe I can do it and I've sorted out my full boxes and we can do that too. Uh, so yeah, so we will see how that looks in the end. I will have So these are foiled with little stars and sprinkles. They're super cute. And it's going to make this really easy to do. And they're going to look just really pretty. I think the foiling is on the first. There's like two pages of foiling and then it comes with like these icons as well. Oh no, three pages of foiling. 
Yeah. We're lucky with these kits. Oh, I think I might go down a column now and add in the four boxes. So, for this, for Monday, I'm going to, this is dark pink. So I can use the umbrella or the cake. I think I was going to use the um, cake. And then for the periwinkle blue, such a pretty green, I'm going to do the blueberries. And then the light pink, I've got lots of choice. I think I was going to go for the urn. Get some florals in here. And then the purple, use the purple cut. It's the only one that's really got purple in it. It does mean that these three boxes here are going to be very highly decorated. No, there's not so much. There we go. Then the dark pink again. do it at the top. Periwinkle. This box. And then for Sunday, the light pink, I'm going to use the teapot. Oh no, I'm not. I'm going to use the cake sand. And then I'm going to use the teapot on the sidebar because the whole kit is called tea time. And I have gone from the edge. And then I'm going to pop this box in here as well, as like a sidebar sticker, when I've built the sidebar. So speaking of, let's finish building this up. So, I do want um, there's a This Week sticker. And I want to use um, two more boxes. Um, did we want to use one of these ones? Oh, just the rose one. For some quotes that my kid said that were super, super cute. <laughs> and then I did want to pull in the habit trackers as well. They're foiled. It's going to be really pretty. And then last header, and then I'll pull it in that other full box. And I think there'll be some room at the bottom for some washi. And I'll use the chunk that matches the bottom washi here. So there we go. And then the tiny little slither down the bottom. We use slice of washi oh, perfect oh I love 
of how it looks. Okay. Okay, now it's time to go into the day by day. I'm going to flip this over. And we've got a big chunky mistress here to play with in the day by day. Okay. So, first things first, I wanted to start off by identifying the work that um, my son had to do this day. So, I'm going to yours. And this little label here. And it was all to do with flags. It was great fun. Um, so, yeah. I was going to, I wanted to use a flag, but it's the wrong colour. Um, so, yeah. So, his work this week was all about around the world. And uh, he was using, um, yeah, playing with flags and stuff. It was super cute. I'm going to bring in a checklist as well. Just to mark some things that I had to do. So I had to, um, oh. I was doing some, I had to, like, my year 12 work I had to upload. Um, some had things around the house, dishwasher, all that kind of stuff. Um, all that kind of prep. I did have my uh, team bio meeting, so I'm going to pull that in with an arrow down here. These sparkly arrows are so pretty. And I do want to bring in um, an icon. Let's see what icons I've got. Um, I've got lots of meetings this week, so I'm not sure I can use one of these because there's only one of each thing. But is there anything on here? Um, mm, not really. I'm gonna have to bring in one of my other icons. I'm not sure. Um, and then I also had mum uh, lunch at my mum's house this day. So that was really lovely. Um, my sister was there too, and we just had a really good time together. And it it felt almost normal. Um, right up until we said goodbye and then I was like oh I want to give you a hug but I can't give you a hug and I want to say hello with a hug and a kiss but I can't and that was a bit weird um, but you know being safe is the most important thing so yeah after that I did want to use the icon here to mark that I was um, had lunch at my mum's house I feel like I need some more icons on here but we'll see I normally get to the end and I realise of all the things that I could have written <laughs> Okay, so then on to Tuesday, uh, we did have a Zoom meeting for my kids with their Sunday school. Um, so I'm going to pull in this scallop label, which is super cute, to mark that we had Junior Riverside Zoo. My fellowship's called Riverside. Um, is there an icon for that? Like church. Um, not really. Ah, I've gotten getting some Bible icons coming soon. Um, so yeah, I'll be able to use those. And I did upload a plan with me. So I'm going to use a little um flag label here, and then I'm going to cover the flag label with a heart from Clever Girl Crafts. This is the the bunny trail colorway. And obviously this blue goes really well, but I think I'm going to have to use the pink because otherwise it's going to be a bit too much. A bit too much <laughs> with the colour blocking. But no. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's the mark that my video went up. It was my plan with me, which was really delayed. Um, it should have gone up on like Sunday. And it, anyway, it went up on uh, Tuesday, so it wasn't doing good. And then I'm going to do a checklist. And this I've had... In this, in this top section, I don't have anything else to mark. So I might have to fill that with some cute washi. But I do want to pop a checklist down because I delivered some rubble back to mum's. She's building, she's like basically building a gorilla garden. So the house next to hers got knocked down like ages ago. Like we're talking years, like decades. And it's just been left. So it's just this big field of brambles and nettles and a big tree, and a big apple tree in the middle, which... 
you know the apples are delicious um and um yeah so mum's basically taken it over and is um using and it's her gorilla garden um which i think is hilarious so yeah um i was just looking at the half boxes and i don't have enough of the pink so i'm gonna have to make some changes um but that's okay so, um, what was I saying? Yes, basically she's um, gorilla gardening. She's taken over some of the area and um, she wants some rubble. I've got loads of old, like, decorative stone, like decorative concrete in my garden from the previous owner. And so I went and delivered it to her. And then this day I did go um, to the food shopping, which I thought there was a day here, but maybe there wasn't. Okay, so grocery shopping there we go so I'll go to your bed and the other things that I wanted to mark here were that, that I got some happy mail which I know there's a script for but I thought there was also okay, so let's just... so yeah to mark that I'm not sure what to in here <laughs> in a minute right I'm just gonna go change some things and I'll be right back okay I just had to change that half box for a periwinkle one kind of matching that one <laughs> because now I've got enough for the rest of the week to cover block Whew, that was close okay <laughs> thankfully it came up really nicely and even the um, foil sticker came up that's the, the same foil sticker this was able to put, to put it back down which is awesome Okay, look. So on to Wednesday then. So Wednesday was National Ballpoint um, Appreciation Day or National Ballpoint Day, um, which I loved, and I posted about it in my um, <laughs> in, on my on my Instagram. Um, so yeah, so I want to mark that with a quarter box, I think. I've got this foiled one here, and then I. I've got a checklist to go down to mark a few things. I'm going to put a little bit of washi in that space there. And then I took a nap. I did some studying and writing and then I had played D&D &D with my husband. We played um in the campaign again the campaign that i've been running so i'll pop that down there and i think i'm going to use this icon here this little scallop super cute to mark playing D D with my husband and then i'm going to pull in um this Bill Dew sticker, but I'm going to cover the Bill Dew with this, um, I think this plan sticker. Oh, not quite. Do. Oh. Might have to go with the important. Maybe today. Okay. Ugh, not quite. Damn. Okay, let's try the important. Always gonna have to do. There we go. It's mark that I was studying and uh, having to do some campaign writing. So that's the first book part of the week. Looking pretty. I do love the colour blocking. Okay, flipping over then to Thursday. So Thursday, um, we got some information about how we're going to go back um to school so we weren't back at school yet and um, we were going back the next week and so we had a video about explaining the whole process of how we were going to return back safely and what the rules were and how things were different and um just explaining all of that really it was kind of a rather important <laughs> conversation to be had um at, with the school at this point so um 
I'm gonna use um, this arrow sticker. Ah! Come on, the arrow sticker to mark that. And then I do want to um, do a checklist. And I also wanna say that I uploaded my video. So I think I'm gonna pull in the banner for the upload. And then add the checklist underneath. I did a lot of adulting this day. I switched mortgages to a better debt rate. I was very pleased myself with that. I um, I had my Zoom meeting for for work as well, and um, yeah, played games with my kids. I was very very kind of felt very good today. <laughs> it was all good. In the bottom, as with every week, we had our family. Um, this week, this week was, um, I think it was just more game shows. Yes, it was game shows, um, which was so much fun. And I don't really have a script to denote that. What, well, let's see what icons there are. There's got to be like a wine one or something. No. Hmm. I'm going to use, mm, mm. <laughs> oh, I don't know which one to use. Oh, the balloons. There we go. That's easy. Balloons for family. And in the space above, I just wanted to mark that we um, had a pizza night. And that... Um... What else? Oh, we watched um, Fortune Fire. So going to use this and I do have my fortune fire scripts I did forget to bring them out so this is my sticker storage for foil this is from simply gilded the box I absolutely love it it's got all of my foil stickers in it including my foil scripts for fortune fire which aren't in here this is strange um Give me a second. Found them. They were hiding. So, Fortune Fire. These were a custom sticker from Artbox Stickers. I think it was a $2 Tuesday. And I got Fortune Fire in all three foils. Um, because we love these so much. And I did want to bring you my pizza sticker, but I couldn't find it. So, I'm going to have to go have a look for that. But, pizza and Fortune Fire. And then we had Family Lamb. And I'll just put in a tiny little slither of washi just to fill up that space. And that half box is in completely the wrong place. Come on now. There we go. Oh gosh, and that's completely wonky. Okay, that's third time lucky. Let's get you down. Straight and flush. Okay, much better. Okay. There we go. So then we can move on to Friday. Um, Friday, I had a couple of meetings with the bosses at work to kind of discuss what we spoke about here. So I was going to use um, the scallop. The scallop label here to mark um, the meetings. And this is what I wanted to use my laptop for. So I had an 8.30 and a 9 o'clock. Except the person who was supposed to run the nine o'clock didn't show up. So I spoke to the same person that I spoke to at the eight o'clock, eight thirty, uh, which was uh, interesting. And then I had another checklist of things to do. Um, no, I'm going to stop there. I did my power sheets. So I'm going to use this box. And I did my power sheets. So my goal setting for June. Um, which is a little delayed and then I still haven't done the ones for July and it's like July 2nd. So let's see for power sheets. I think I'm going to use the dumbbell. You know, like powering up, you know what I mean? Then I wanted to add a checklist, some things that I got done throughout the day. And then, whoop, there we go. And then we called our mums. We called our mums while we were making dinner 
because we were in conversation about whether or not we were going to send our kids um, to their childminder because you know with what we call covid and everything and being exposed and hanging out with children his like my son's best friend is it's his mom and so we needed to call our parents to um just see you know what was their opinion what do they think um what was you know do they think was in which is it a good idea do they would they support us all that kind of stuff and uh, they said you know do you trust your childminder? And we were like, yeah. And so we, we went forward and they've been to their childminders and actually it's everything so far has been fine. We're really strict. So they have a bath on Monday night, gets um, bathed in fresh sheets and then they wake up the next morning, get in fresh clothes, go to the childminders. And as soon as we come back, in, including myself from work, we strip off, everything goes into the washing machine and we go up and have showers. Like we're... You know that regimented <laughs> about it all um so yeah uh so that's what we decided and it's been working out so far so we've been really really pleased so moving on to saturday that morning i stayed in my dramas and i filmed my washi storage video so my washi storage video um sorting out my washi into the dr some drawers that i got from paper chase and that was it was actually really good fun and really kind of like i didn't I like I fast forward through most of the sorting I think that was quite good and um yeah I got it all sorted and tidy and clean and neat it's very good so I don't know what to use for that what was my idea originally I think it was probably one of the cleaning ones but they're both like with water and I don't want to use the water maybe the vacuum no I'm gonna leave it. oh the, the uh, push pin that'll work so there we go. And then we went to my sister's and we saw her new table and chairs she'd bought. They're very, very nice, very fancy. And uh, we sorted out because we got, I got some washi in the post as well. So my, our Simply, Simply Watercolour Co. order came in and um, after we split it into the, on those sticker sheets. I think if you saw my last memory plan with me you saw me use them so we took the roll of washi overlays and just laid them out onto some um like used like sticker sheets like that we peeled off this bit and just laid them out so that we shared the roll of washi so she only uses gold foil and i obviously use a mixture and so we got just the gold foiled one that we were going to split between the three between the two of us so yes yeah, so that was really good and then i've got my to-dos things that i got done this day and I've lost my to-do sheet there we go it's been things like laundry and um, I got it on the line I actually put my laundry away which is a miracle because I have the bit of laundry I hate and so on and so on and then we spent the evening and the afternoon actually just in the garden just chilling out it was absolutely lush so I'm going to use this arrow here for um hanging out in the garden with some wine and then I'm also going to use a little skinny oh it's the same pattern um, maybe use a big strip of washi to mark that we watch some TV when we got in watch some box mopping up and so I'll use a little TV icon for that So laundry and the washing machine. I'll put that in the checklist. There we go. And then finally on Sunday I did um filmed a plan with me. I believe it uploaded that day. So I'm well I'm gonna say it uploaded anyway. Normally if I film the video on the Sunday then I will upload it upload it. It's normally because I haven't filmed it, <laughs> that's why it doesn't get uploaded. And I'm going to use the blue heart. And I'm here, I was, what, I didn't put a sticker. Was I going to use the blue? Or the, I think I should use the pink. So 
go. And then finally, and then I washed my hair and had a zoo towel. I'm going to use the scallop and a quarter box. Zoom meeting and washing my hair. They've got like a hair, it's a hair cut sticker with the scissors and the dye thing. I think I'm just going to use that to mark washing my hair because no, we know we'd not been to the side of them, like they're not open. So, and then um, for Zoom with church, I'm going to use the coffee cup. The password for our Zoom meeting is coffee for the first meeting, so I think that's kind of <laughs> appropriate. And then in the afternoon, I we watched a load of um, different TV. So I'm just going to put a checklist. We watched like Adam Savage One Day Builds. I watched, um, oh, what was it? Um, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And then it got to the evening and we postponed D&D. &D. Um, my husband was like really worried. He's like, we're just not going to be able to pick it up. We're going to, this is going to be the end of the campaign. It wasn't, we were fine. But we didn't no idea what to do with ourselves. Like me and my husband were just like wandering aimlessly around um our house, just going, Well, what do we do now? <laughs> so in the end we uh drank some wine and we played Sporkle. So I'm just gonna use this date night sticker and um just pop it here. And <laughs> we just watched that was all we did. We just um sat and watched play Sporkle, um, which is absolutely fantastic. Um just what we used to do when we were first dating it's just really nice to go back and i had some wine so this is how the spread looks overall oh my gosh it's so pretty with the color blocking and the silver foil um yeah really kind of simple i will be using a very fine black gel pen i think i'll probably use my simply gilded gel pens to uh, fill this all out um and yeah if you want to go check my instagram to see what i actually wrote down the plans as i uh, transcribed them and um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Um, please go ahead and check out the description box for the giveaway video and um, all my other videos are linked in the cards as well for the different uploads that I've <laughs> done throughout this week. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.